questioning sense with me. Matt, okay, uh, autumnal morning, one of my favorites, crisp, beautiful weather, taken my son to school and had my hair cut and a beard trimmed because it was getting a bit ragged. Um, so today I'm wearing a very, very good perfume for autumn and we'll come to that and I'll explain why I've chosen this one today. Recently, I ordered some samples from the Centres in London and I wanted to try some of the uh, Andy Towers, some of Andy Towers fragrances uh, and in particular the Desert du Marocain, which is the one that kind of gets all the hype and stuff like that. And I also got the uh, Au Cours du Desert, I think it's called, forgive me, we'll get the correct naming up. And my favourite of the three that I've tried so far is Lone Star Memories. That's an absolute blinding scent. Um, they're still very much at the uh, sort of initial stages, so I'm not actually going to review them. Um, but the, the thing with the Desert de Marocaine, when I got it, I sprayed it and instantly it reminded me of another heavy hitter, uh, another big, big perfume that I own and love. And that is why we're here today. And we're going to talk about Geroff's Join the Club ivory root so here it is in all its glory and let's just take a minute to look at the presentation okay so this is the box it comes in this is the old style presentation i believe it's changed so that's the box it comes in real real uh, mega quality there and here it is it's a 50 ml bottle and it's absolutely beautiful and this came out in 2012. As I say, I think, because um, I have another Geroff, which is more than words, which I'll do a separate review on, and that's in a newer style bottle, I think. Um, but the presentation is stunning. Look at that. I mean, it is, for a small, it is quite a small bottle, actually, but it is it's absolutely beautiful. Um, there's your cap, and there's Geroff written on it. Um, yes, this is solid, it's beautiful. I'm wearing it at the moment. Uh, my my barber complimented me on it, which is always a bit awkward when someone's clambering around you cutting your hair. I said, oh, you smell nice. I said, oh, thank you very much. Um, but I'll spray a little bit more now. The sprayers of these are amazing. You just apply pressure and it kind of slowly sprays out a fine mist, which is, uh, is beautiful. Now, what do we have here? Well, Geroff kind of keep everything a little under wraps when it comes to um, note listings, a bit like Nasamoto, a bit like Auto Parisi, they don't give a, a full listing. But you have, and this is where I was kind of taken aback because the Desert de Marocaine has this very same vibe to it. It's a dry, spicy, airy feel. Um, the the Geroff, sits slightly differently as um i mean that, let's let's just talk about this first of all this came out in in 2012 um and it is sort of part of the join it was part of the join the club um collection i think there's there's quite a few of them out there and this is sort of a, a homage to travel to adventuring to going overseas and seeing the world and it's called ivory root um and it's obviously there's a lot of connotation between this and the old spice root because this is a, um, a dry, spicy, warming, um, slightly vanillic, uh, beautiful fragrance. It's a softly projecting fragrance, um, but on my skin it lasts a very long time. It seems to last sort of maybe 10 hours before it's gone completely. And even then I'm sure I can still find traces of it. But this isn't about that. When, when you first spray it like I just did there, it does project quite well. It projects quite far as well, but it's not um, it's not a room filler. It's not like, um, you know, a fragrance that boom, makes a massive impression. It's not at all. It's, it's, this is a more intimate fragrance um, and it's warm and it's cozy and it's lovely and it just makes you feel good about yourself. I also think that it's quite a formal fragrance. This would work very well if you were dressed up and going out for a meal or you're going out you know, uh, with your partner, you know, a nice evening out. This would be perfect for that. I wouldn't waste it at work, to be honest with you. Because um, you know, the elephant in the room with the, with the Geroff range is cost. They cost an absolute fortune um, and they're very expensive. I mean, this is currently retailing at about 150 pounds um, for the 50 mil. Um, I actually had a result with this. I got it via um, some friends in a Facebook group I'm in. And if you're not in any Facebook groups, then please get yourself in them because there's some, you know, the fragrance community is really, really good at helping each other. 
Um, lots of people buy fragrances or get deals on them and then they share the deal. And a lot of Facebook groups are also non-profit. So people are just passing on what they've got um, to help you with your collection and your fragrance journey. So I actually got this for 50 pounds, I think I paid for it, um, which you know is unbelievable value, especially when you consider there's barely a dent in it. You know, this isn't a decant. This isn't a partial. This is almost. This is almost a full bottle. I've got a, an absolute bargain cost, and you know, thank you so much to the wonderful person that sold me that. It, it means everything because I, I I would struggle to 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 warrant justifying spending that kind of you know 150 quid on 50 mils is I don't know. It seems a little rich to me. Um, but this is a beautiful fragrance. Um, once the sort of spicy opening and it's you get a real strong pepper note which is quite interesting because i don't normally go for pepper i you know it can be a bit grating with me but the pepper changes quite quickly to sort of like an incensey note there's a tiny little hint of herbs in here something like basil or maybe even a tiny bit of sage sitting there just to give it a little bit of a lift but that that sort of spicy peppery opening doesn't last very long it kind of transitions into much more of an all-spice kind of vibe. There may be a little bit of cumin in here. And then it becomes quite sweet. There's obviously a vanilla or tonka, tonka bean maybe. I think it is probably more vanilla that sits under the spices and gives it a base. And then a warming sandalwood comes in and vanilla, sandalwood and spices, it just becomes really, really intoxicating, but very, very dry. Um, and I like that. Um, if there is another um, another twist in the tail of this and the Andy Tower one, and that is this, which is L'Occitane's Eau de Beau, one of my all-time favourite fragrances. I absolutely adore it. And this is not a million miles away from this. If you wanted to, if for example, you couldn't find a really, really good deal on this and you didn't want to spend the money on it, which I would you know, fully appreciate and I quite, you know, quite understand, have a look at Eau de Beau. Now, I have done a full review on Eau de Beau, which is, um, you know, down below. So have a look at it because the full review is there and I cannot recommend this enough. This is a fabulous, fabulous fragrance. Um, the only thing is, it doesn't have the longevity of the Geroff, which kind of giving the price point, you know, is quite quite understandable. This is a relatively cheap fragrance and this is a hyper expensive fragrance, but they do smell very similar at different points in their, their lifespan, shall we say. So the moral of this story for me is I really wanted to buy um, Andy Towers' uh, Lair de Desert de Marocaine, but because I already have this, there's absolutely no need for me to do so. Um, so I'm not gonna be taking the uh, Andy Tower one, that particular one, any further. Lone Star Memories is a different kettle of fish altogether. I don't have anything that smells like that. Um, and I'm gonna wear my sample through and through um, and then make a decision. Because Christmas is coming, you know, and we are allowed treats at Christmas, aren't we? So that may well, you know, be uh, something that I'm, I'm gonna to look to take further. but. For the purposes of this review, if you have ivory root, then probably Lair de Desert de Marocaine may not be, it may be surplus to requirements and vice versa. If you have the Andy Tower one, you probably won't need this. I don't see, especially if they're both expensive perfumes, I don't see the need um, to have two. I mean, if you're an avid collector and you like the bottles and stuff like that, then go for it. Uh, and if money's no object, then of course, you know, crack on. But if you're, you know, like me, trying to have a collection of, of various fragrances that you enjoy, that you can wear, that are beautiful, um, but you are working to a budget, then you only need this or the Andy Tower. You don't need both. Um, so, yeah, uh, in closing, fabulous fragrance, pretty long lasting, not a massive um, room filling fragrance by any means whatsoever, but a really intimate beautiful enjoyable fragrance that i absolutely love um you know this is this is really really glorious stuff so listen thank you very much for your time uh, we'll be back with more reviews very shortly so once again it's always appreciated spending time with you so thanks very much bye